In this video, we're going to be discussing um, vectorizing an image in Inkscape. Now, Inkscape is a really great vector drawing program and um, has a lot of capabilities. Um, we're really not going to be able to cover the program in depth. Um, the best place to get um, tutorials and information on Inkscape is probably going straight to YouTube because there are endless tutorials on this program. Um, also, there are a number of instruction manuals that can be purchased also for Inkscape that'll walk you through everything about the program. And if you are doing plasma cutting for art as the main your main business, I highly recommend you get to know this software really well. It's very powerful and it can do a lot for you. But this video is just covering vectorizing, the very basics. So the first thing, I pulled in this little Marlin image that I pulled off the internet. Um, and this could be any image. It could be an image that was uh, drawn um, and scanned into the computer. It could be an image that you drew in a separate program, be that Photoshop or GIMP. Um, <clears throat> or it could be one like this, like you found on the internet. So the first thing you want to do once you have the image pulled in is to make sure it's selected. Okay. With it selected, I can then go up to this path um, file up here. And I click on that and I go down to the third one down, trace bitmap. Okay. That will th then pull this window up here. Now there's a number of uh, different options you can play around with. Um, this is the mode at which it uses to create the paths. It's called brightness cutoff. That's the one we're going to be using. And <clears throat> by increasing or decreasing, by de increasing this threshold, I'm going to um, basically make the essentially the the pass a little less sensitive, so that there's a chance I'll get smoother lines. This is particularly important if you are using an image that's of a low resolution because when you vectorize it you can actually pick up the pixel edges if it's a low enough resolution and then you can have just it creates just a lot of points and an image with a lot of points and nodes on it will be a lot more difficult for the plasma cutter to cut out so generally the two things that I'm looking at um, is this I mainly use this threshold I'll move it up to say uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.54, like I have it here. And generally I find that gives me good results, but I do recommend you play around with, there are additional options, um, and you can set these smooth corners and thresholds to different levels, and you'll get different results. But, so we're gonna go with these settings for this one. So once you've decided on your settings, you basically just click OK, and then it vectorizes the image. Now the vectorized image, is sitting right on top. So you got to click on it and drag it to the side. <clears throat> now this original image, we don't need this anymore. So what I'm going to do is just basically right click on it and cut it. Get rid of it. Now I'm done with the trace bitmap option. I can close that out. So now we have our image and now our image is in a vector format. So basically it has lines around it. So as you can see um, if I zoom in here, and we now have these points all around it, whereas before we didn't. This was all just pixels. So now the computer has drawn this shape, and it knows the shape of this image. And um, this can now be turned into a DXF file, which can be transferred directly into SheetCam and then cut out. So um, a few other things that we can do initially I'll talk about is at this point once you have it vectorized you can click on it and select it um, and you can scale it if you look up here um, right now it's set the pixels but you can change this to inches and then of course lock these two scales together so that the proportions will stay the same and I can change this to whatever size I want so let's say I'm gonna make this to be 15 inches okay so right now I'm 15 inches by just under 15 and a half inches 
Um, <clears throat> a lot of times what I do at this point, this properties of this, this page here, I will set this to be the same size as my material. So I can go into File, and I can click on Document Properties. If I go down to this middle box here, I can set this to inches. And I can turn this to the size of my plate. So quite often I'm using a 4x4 four four sheet, 48 by 48. And so I can close that out, go back. <clears throat> and now, basically, we have our sheet, 48 by 48 sheet. Now, what I can do is, essentially, I can draw, I can pull in other images um, into here, and then I can do the same thing. I can vectorize each individual image, scale them, and then I can arrange them on the sheet. And essentially nest them together so that they will fit however I think is best. You know. Now I can also go up here and copy this image basically and then I can paste this image and now I got two of them and I can decide okay well let's let's scale these together and I can try to basically arrange them however I I think will best fit to fit whatever I want onto the, the screen or onto this particular sheet okay so basically once I've nested up my sheet or if you know even if I just want to cut one of these these two out or just one for that matter basically the next step is to simply go over to the file and click Save As and I'm going to save it as a DXF format. Now you're going to look down here and the first thing you're going to see you're going to be looking for the desktop cutting plotter format, the R13 which is a standard DXF format. So I'm going to save this to my desktop change the name to Marlin, and save it you're always going to want to do this selection. Okay, it's by default the one that's clicked, so you just click OK. <clears throat> so now these are saved as a DXF. I'll minimize this. And then I'm going to open up Sheet Cam. And I can import that file right in. So I go to Import Drawing. Okay, I go to Desktop. There's my Marlin DXF. I can double click on that. Now this is important to remember. By default, Inkscape exports all of its images in the DXF format in metric. It's just hard coded into the DXF export and you can't really change it, unfortunately. So you just gotta know to set your scaling metric. And even though you, you sized it in inches, um, you need to scale it in metric so it will come out it will be the right size basically so I just click that click OK and there's my images so there are my two Marlins and they're ready to be cut out now of course there are a few things that should be fixed in these images there are two little islands here this part needs to be connected to the main part and it's the same with the eye it needs to be connected so these wouldn't work for cutting, otherwise the eye would just fall out and this gill representation would fall out too. So, what <clears throat> other videos will cover doctoring up images and working with them to get them ready for plasma cutting. This is basically just vectorizing. So, that's all there really is to vectorizing in Inkscape. Um, really the biggest challenge when you're vectorizing an image an art piece for plasma cutting is you want to try to minimize how many little nodes and dots you have now you can see there are quite a few in here um, generally I think but these areas are pretty good uh, we should get a pretty smooth cut cutting this out um, sometimes if you have too many nodes 
uh, it can basically make this machine slow down in certain areas as it tries to get through all these points. But these look pretty good. So that is the video on vectorizing in, in Inkscape.